aide Fitzgerald Hines and PSA President Watson Duke, accompanied by two police officers, presented the court order for Ms. Miller to be brought to court to senior officials at the mental institution. Last night, the representing attorney secured an injunction from Justice Vashis Kokoram following the PSA's filing of a writ of habeas corpus on Thursday afternoon. Again, Nadine Hackett, his law. Attorneys representing employee of the Ministry of Child Development and Youth Affairs, Cheryl Miller, Senior Counsel Stanley Marcus and Fitzgerald Hines, secured a court order late last night from Justice Vashis Kokoram. Speaking to reporters outside the St. Anne's Hospital this morning, Mr. Hines said the court order commanded officials of the psychiatric hospital to present Ms. Miller before the courts today. Mr. Kokoram will then be able to determine, having heard from the hospital, the reasons for their apprehension and detention of Cheryl Miller. He said it was the pleas of ministry employees and public outrage at the situation that brought the matter to light. And Mr. Hines said securing the court order was an indication that there remains a functioning legal system where persons can seek redress on matters. And he said Ms. Miller's family was simply hoping for her release. We were able to get a judge of the High Court out of the comforts of his home, perhaps, to be with us at 9.50, 9.30 last evening to grant this order. And the order has now been served in the interest of Cheryl Miller, in the interest of her representative union, in the interest of the people who she worked along with, in the interest of the family, and in the interest of a peaceable forward-thinking citizenry of Trinidad and Tobago. And PSA President Watson Duke maintained that the rights of all citizens must be upheld, and in this particular matter, public servants. It's a wrong that no amount of gerrymandering of facts could cover up. The fact is, she has been employed for 19 years, and never at once was she administered to a mental institution, nor did she take drugs. Why are they shooting drugs in her vein? Why have they admitted her? Why are they trying to bring the life of a young woman to an end? These are questions that trouble the PSA. Mr. Duke is demanding that the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Child Development and Youth Affairs should be called before the Public Service Commission to account for her role which led to the incarceration of Ms. Miller. Nadine Hackett, C News.